I'm going to introduce to you uh, uh, Brian Keith. Brian has uh, been a Barnabas Group member for quite some time, and Brian actually helps me a lot with uh, member recruitment, rem member uh, retainment and that, and he's been a real blessing to me, and I, I'm sure he's going to be a blessing to all of you that he's getting in to know, but he's going to come up and, and uh, introduce our next guest. Brian? Thank you, Jim. Good morning, friends. Um, one of the things I've been able to go deeper in the Barnabas Group this year is to be able to connect up with new partners and just try to get to know them a little better and to find ways to get them involved more with the group. And so um, for those of you who are new this year, look forward to meeting up with you, having lunch, having coffee, and just getting to hear your story and sharing a little bit of mine. And with that, I would like to welcome up Jeff Alberg with My Safe Harbor, who's going to talk to us about some of the work he's doing in North Orange County with moms. Welcome, Jeff. Good morning. My name is Jeff Alberg, and I'm the executive director at My Safe Harbor. My Safe Harbor's mission is to strengthen families by equipping and empowering mothers. You may be asking, why is he up there? He's not a mother. <laughs> no, I am not, but I have a mother and a fantastic, beautiful, supportive, godly one at that. She's here this morning. Uh, my wife is also a mother. And I'm grateful, uh, grateful for and acutely aware of the critical role she plays in loving, praying for, disciplining, and cheering on our children. But back to my safe harbor. We're located in Anaheim and serve a city that is either ranked number one or number two in number of single mothers, gang activity, teen pregnancy, high school dropouts, teen suicide, and teen incarceration in Orange County. We believe strongly that our neighborhood's largest challenge is not its youth, but its parents, particularly its mothers. We believe that prevention, empowering, equipping, and expecting progress are the keys to transforming this community. Long-term support that promotes the breaking of dysfunctional generational cycles is what is required. Our entry-level mothers' clubs and enrichment electives introduce mothers to the possibility of change and our Strong Families Institute, or SFI, brings about that change. SFI focuses on building resilience and personal capacity in mothers so they believe they are capable of personal growth and responsibility. After they believe this, they can start to take on spiritual development, healthy communication and conflict management, home and financial management, and effective parenting. And it's the importance of building resilience that I would like to talk to, with you uh, today. Resilience is generally defined as the ability to bounce back, pick yourself up from the ground when you've been dealt a blow, to be able to cope well or effective, with effectively uh, in adverse conditions. Remember that definition. In the mid-90s, the Center for Disease Control and Kaiser Permanente discovered that exposure to childhood trauma dramatically increased the risk for seven out of 10 of the leading causes of death in the United States. The adverse childhood experience study conducted by Dr. Vince Filetti and Kaiser uh, and Bob, Dr. Bob Anda at the CDC asked 17,500 adults how their history of exposure to what they called adverse childhood experiences or ACEs. They found that in high doses, ACEs affect brain development, the immune system, hormonal systems, and even the way our DNA is read and transcribed. ACEs include physical, emotional, or sexual abuse, physical or emotional neglect, parental mental illness, substance dependence, incarceration, parental separation or divorce, or domestic violence. There are 10 questions on the scale, and for every yes, you get a point towards your ACE score. We've given you a sample copy of the questionnaire on page 50 of your booklet to take a look at and calculate your own ACE score in your head. Then the researchers, researchers correlated these ACE scores against health outcomes, and two things they found were striking. Number one, adverse childhood experiences are incredibly common. 67% of the population they surveyed had at least one ACE, and 12.6%, that's one in eight, had four or more ACEs. The second thing they found was that there was a direct correlation between the adverse experiences and health outcomes. 
The higher your A score, the worse your health outcomes. The more ACEs you have, the greater risk for chronic disease, mental illness, and violence. People with high A scores are more likely to be violent, to have more marriages, more broken bones, and more depression. People with an A score of six or higher are at risk of their lifespan being shortened by 20 years. And here's what caught our attention as we looked to break the cycle of generational dysfunction. People with high A scores are more likely to have children with high A scores. It's a brutal cycle. I want to introduce to you Maria Rogers. Maria found My Safe Harbor in 2013. She was looking for programs from the Anaheim Family Resource Center and was referred by accident to My Safe Harbor. Maria was coming off a 24-year marriage in which she was physically, sexually, verbally, and mentally abused. She knew something had to change or she would end up dead as her husband had threatened to kill her and her children multiple times and had recently beat her unconscious. When Maria came to My Safe Harbor, she was scared of her own shadow and wouldn't look you in the eye. She had her hair draped over her face, and when she talked, her mouth would barely move, making it very difficult to understand her. Yet Maria was determined to get out of her situation and took advantage of every program and opportunity that My Safe Harbor offered. However, when it came time to, to, for her to register for a Strong Families Institute, she wasn't sure if she could commit to the 30-week program and pay the $100 tuition fee because she didn't have a cent to her name. Her history of abuse and fear, the unknown world paralyzed her from moving forward. She didn't have personal capacity and resilience to pick herself up and to make life change. It was looking like the ACEs research outcomes were spot on in Maria's case, but the, but the research offered a glimmer of hope there was scientific proof that the brain and the body respond differently to trauma. And when there's repeated trauma, the brain and body are impacted. They don't function like they were made to. However, the research found that the solution to battling these outcomes is resilience. The research shows that the stronger your resilience, the better your health outcomes. And this is where My Safe Harbor comes in. Having resilient parents is the strongest predictor for determining resilience in children. Imagine the difference it makes when your mother was kind and understanding, when she poured into you and believed in you, your mother who saw you every day of your entire childhood. Most mothers who first come to My Safe Harbor simply lack the tools, the confidence, and the personal capacity to help build resilience in their children. They have high A scores and parent their kids how they themselves were parented, i.e. the dysfunctional family cycle. In just a small sampling of women currently enrolled in our programs, all of them have at least one ACE. 66% of them have three or more. 48% of them have four or more. That's, the study's average is one in eight, but we work with a population that's one in two. Our community is no stranger to trauma. But here's why My Safe Harbor is so important. There have been studies that test the personal resiliency. Uh, these studies ask questions like, do you have good friends who support you? Are you hopeful about the future? Do you feel lovable? Do you communicate effectively around, with those around you? And now, listen to what women from My Safe Harbor that have graduated from the Strong Institute are saying. I don't know what I would have done without the support of my sisters. I learned I was not alone. I found new communication and problem solving skills and started to make changes. I'm focusing on growing getting to know myself, taking care of my children, and dreaming for the future. My self-esteem started improving, and I started to love myself again. I came to believe I am valuable. The other mothers Maria had met at My Safe Harbor gave her the courage and the support to file a restraining order against her husband and get her family into permanent housing. She decided to enroll in our Strong Families Institute, and after the second quarter of SFI, Get this, Maria said she started to notice the colors surrounding her. The color of the sky, the trees, the flowers she had never recognized before being in the darkness abuse creates. She was being put back together, picking herself up. Resilience was being built. In October of 2013, Maria graduated our Strong Families Institute. She was then hired as the first parent partner for Western Youth Service's new program, 
helping parents in crisis navigate their lives. She now has a full-time job that's allowed her to support her kids and gave her the freedom to start really healing herself. Maria is still working for Western Youth Services and is also training to be a life coach. She credits her change entirely to God and his faithfulness, carrying her through a dark time. Because of the resilience and personal capacity that my safe harbor helped Maria build and identify in herself, her kids are building resilience against their aces. Her oldest son is a manager at Nordstrom's and a popular DJ here in Orange County. And her daughter, who had the highest exposure to childhood trauma, is a senior in high school with a 4.0 grade average. Maria no longer hides her face and walks with such confidence. She knows who she is and whose she is. And there are more stories just like Maria. It's inspiring to see and hear these stories. Women coming to My Safe Harbor with high A scores and low resiliency, and then graduating from our Strong Families Institute with new friends, a, nude sense of, a renewed sense of self, confidence to tackle life's challenges, and hope, real hope for themselves and their children. This year, My Safe Harbor will graduate our 200th woman from our Strong Families Institute. That's 200 mothers who not only rewrote their stories, but their children's stories. Just consider for a moment how the lives of these children will be different now that their mother has developed strong resilience and personal capacity she needs to build a strong family. A new generation with the ability to bounce back, pick themselves up from the ground when they're dealt some blows, and able to cope well and effectively with adverse conditions. Boil down to its simplest form, my Safe Harbor's objective is to disciple women to help them discover that strong families are not simply found in a good job or effective communication and problem-solving skills, but in a rich and personal relationship with Jesus Christ and his church. We show them that he gives us the ability to overcome because he has overcome, and that their desire to strengthen their family is because he has called us into his own family. And it's that family that we strive to get mothers into as they graduate from SFI. All of their hard work and life change cannot be sustained on their own. They need a church family to adopt them so they can continue to hear that we are his, and simply because we are his, we are valuable. We are loved. We are capable. With all these amazing, life-changing transformation going on in My Safe Harbor, I get it. It's hard to not want to get involved. My Safe Harbor depends heavily on volunteers to produce the most effective programs. We have volunteers for childcare, for facilitating electives, for data input, for donor follow-up, for SFI class facilitation, and for general handyman jobs, which I usually get stuck with. Last year, 210 people volunteered over 5,600 hours of their time. The great part of that is that 30% of those volunteers were graduates of our Strong Families Institute who want to give back to this valued cause. We have many mothers to reach. In fact, you may be thinking of a mother right now who needs this. We need you to pray for us. We need you to learn about our cause and to spread the word to your friends and your church. And we need your mind, your hands, and feet as a volunteer. I invite you to come along, My Safe Harbor, as we strive to strengthen families by equipping and empowering mothers throughout Orange County. As we strengthen them, we strengthen their children. We grow the kingdom of God. Thank you for your time. Let's pray for Jeff and My Safe Harbor. Father, I just come before you, and I've got to actually hear from these stories of uh, some of these ladies that have gone through My Safe Harbor and and hear firsthand from them about the change that uh, My Safe Harbor has made in their lives. I pray, Lord, that uh, they're right here local. They're only a short drive away for most of us. Might uh, some of us go up and, and volunteer some hours to come alongside them to bless these ladies as they struggle to become resilient and build resiliency into the lives of their families and their kids. So, Lord, we just, uh, we just ask you to... Um, be in control, and uh, we look for what you'll do. We lift this up to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ.